So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0301 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P0301 code? Well, it's a cylinder one misfire detected. And what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder needs to have air and fuel going into it. And then at the right time, there needs to be a spark to ignite this mixture. And for some reason, there's an issue with this, mainly on cylinder one, that either there's something wrong with the fuel going into the cylinder or there's something wrong with the spark. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting a Y. And a P0301 code is just pointing to the number one cylinder. And so that's the one that's gonna be having the issue. Now, if you have multiple P0300 codes, then there can be more issues than are listed here. For example, if you're getting a P0301, P0302, P0303, and a P0304, then that would point to some other kind of issue, like a bad fuel pump or a clogged fuel filter not sending enough gas up to the engine. But if you're only getting a P0301, then that's only gonna to apply to this specific number one cylinder. And those are the things I'm talking about today. It's just the P0301 code. And so what could be some causes of this? Well, you could have a bad spark plug, or a bad spark plug wire going to the spark plug. You could have a bad coil on cylinder number one or some kind of issue going on with the coil. There could be a bad injector on cylinder number one. And if you have an older Honda that has a distributor cap, then there might be some kind of issue going on with the distributor cap. And mechanical problems can also cause issues, but that's not very common. Usually when you get this code, there's gonna be something either going on with the spark or the fuel. But keep in mind, sometimes the mechanical problems can't cause issues. And so how do you go about troubleshooting a Honda with the P0301 code? Well, the first thing to do is locate that cylinder number one on your particular engine, since that's the one having the issue. If you Google your vehicle, your year, your engine, and things like this, and look at the images, you you'll usually be able to find out what the firing order is and the cylinder location on your particular Honda. But the first thing to do is to find that cylinder number one. Once you locate that cylinder number one, there's a few different ways you can troubleshoot this. One of the first things to do is to check for spark and be sure you're getting spark at that cylinder. There's a few different ways you can check for spark. One of the ways I like to do it is I use one of these spark test tools. These are real low cost. You get these for like less than $10 on like Amazon or eBay. But basically just one side goes to the spark plug and the other side goes to the spark plug wire or the ignition coil. You start up the engine, and if you're getting spark, then you'll be able to see it inside of here. There'll be a little spark that's happening. If there is no spark, then you won't be able to see nothing. So it's just like a real quick, easy way to check to see if the engine's getting spark. You can go through and check that spark plug wire on cylinder number one and be sure it's connected good and things like this. You could pull the spark plug out and be sure it hasn't fouled out or gone bad or anything. If you have injector coils, you could swap out cylinder number one injector coil with like cylinder number two injector coil and then just see if the problem follows. Because if you swap them out and then you're getting a P0302, then you know that injector coil is bad. So that's another method that you go about testing these. But the first thing to do is be sure you're getting spark to cylinder number one. If you are getting spark, then the next thing to go and check out is gonna be the injector on cylinder number one. And this can be done a few ways. Some mechanics will swap it out with another good one and see if the code follows. If you have a multimeter, you can check the one next to it, a known good one, and see what the resistance is with ohms, and then check that injector on cylinder number one and see if it's close to the known good one. Because if it's not close, if it's something really high, or if you're not getting no ohms at all or something like that, then you know that injector is bad. It could still be clogged up, but that's one method to go about checking it. Like I said, there's some different ways you go about testing the injectors. And one thing to keep in mind is that the wiring going to the injector, if there's anything wrong with it, open, short, bad connection, then it can cause the same symptoms as a bad injector so be sure to keep that in mind and so that's basically it i just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a honda with the p0301 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day